Hey guys, welcome back to Everyman Cigar, and today we're going to review the Velvet Rat. This is beautiful! What is that, Velvet? So I've had this cigar in my humidor for a couple months now, uh, and this is the Velvet Rat uh, from Liga Pravada, Drew Estate makes it. Uh, and I haven't seen too many reviews on this, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a review for you tonight, and I'll tell you guys what I think about this. Before we go too far into it, yes, I am wearing a smoking jacket uh, before you start uh, with all the comments. Yes, it does help with the uh, smoke smell on my clothes, and it does keep the ashes from dropping into my lap. Um, this was actually given to me by a co-worker. Uh, thank you, Vince, for this. It has been very useful. So we're going to go ahead and toast. Uh, I, st I started lighting this and uh, my butane lighter ran out of fuel. So we will be using this free lighter I got uh, with my last order of my father's cigars. And it is butane, so uh, don't uh, hit me on that either. So while I go ahead and toast this up, I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, appearance. The wrapper is a dark chocolatey color with small to medium veins and uh, fairly toothy. The aroma it gives off is a uh, hay and slight chocolate, very light. the cap was coming off as I lit this. Let's go ahead and we'll see if we can salvage that. So on first light up, what I'm getting out of this is uh, earthy flavors, uh, and a little bit of like a chocolate on the on the uh, finish there, but not a lot. The fish didn't last very long. Very quick finish on that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into the first third here, and I'll be back with you guys to let you know what I think. Okay, guys, I'm about 15 minutes in here. Um, the burn on this is nice and sharp. Uh, nice white ash there. So construction is great. It's a little snug uh, through the draw, but it's not terrible. It's been opening up a little bit, and I expect it to open up more as we go. Uh, flavors I'm getting on this on the first third. Finished is lasting longer. Uh, right away, you get an earthy flavor. Um, and then through the retrohale, I get a uh, chocolate and leather. So it's like a sweet leather, if that makes any sense. Um, I, I guess it's not an exact science, but this is what I'm tasting, uh, uh, kind of a chocolatey leather. And then in the finish, it transitions to like a, like a little bit of a nutty flavor. And the finish will last uh, all the way until the next puff. Uh, the only downside so far with this is the uh, bit of snugness that it's got and the fact that I've got to kind of puff twice. But I'm gonna keep going here, uh, get into that second third, and I'll be back with you guys to let you know what I think about that. So a couple quick updates for you guys. It's been a while since uh, I've posted one of these videos. I've been pretty busy lately, but uh, I've got some pretty cool, exciting new things that we're gonna be coming up with on this channel. Um, I am uh, starting to dabble into rolling my own cigars. Uh, there's a company out there called Leaf Only, and uh, my in-laws were gracious enough to, for as a Christmas gift, they actually uh, got me a starter kit where it comes with a small mold and the uh, filler leaf, binder leaf, and wrapper leaf. You can do about 10 cigars. So I kind of started dabbling in that today, so I'll share with you guys once I get a couple of them done. I'll even show you the mistakes and the horrible ones I did today. Um, but we'll review those coming down the line. And I've also just ordered a new humidor. Uh, right now I work 
using, I have two desk, desktop humidors and a couple little tub of doors and, and things like that. Um, but uh, my wife for Christmas actually has ordered me a, uh, it's a 1000 count humidor, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Don't know if I'll be able to get a thousand cigars in there ever, uh, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty big. So I'm excited to kind of do an unboxing and and take you on a tour of that as well. So I'm pretty excited about some of the new content we're gonna have on this channel, in addition to the cigar reviews that I'll normally be doing. This cap just doesn't want to cooperate. It just started coming off when I cut it, and I ever I only cut the very tip of the, I'll show you guys, I only cut the very little tip off, and it's still kind of, let's see if it'll focus in on it, starting to unravel there, but through the miracle of saliva, it's hanging on, I don't know for how long, but uh, We'll see. Real quick guys, I just wanted to point out, my ash just fell off. Nice straight chunk of ash came off. And uh, say what you want about the smoking jacket, it just saved my clothes. It fell right off in my lap, as it usually does. And um, this thing does serve its purpose. I love this thing. Uh, it's by Luxu Robes. Uh, again, I got it from a coworker of mine, Vince. Uh, the outside has a nice uh, velvet texture to it and the inside is satin, it's very comfortable and it does serve its purpose. So check them out online if it's something you guys think you might like. Uh, Luxu Robes, I uh, found it on Amazon, hopefully I'm not butchering the name too much, uh, but you can find any assortment of colors or styles or fabrics you want. But uh, it's worth the investment if you smoke a lot of cigars and you like your clothes. All right, guys, I'm getting into that second third here. And I have to say there's not too many developments in flavor, uh, more of a smoothing out of flavors. So it's not a really sharp transition between the two where I can't exactly point out the differences between that leather and the sweetness. The chocolatey kind of flavor I was getting, it's pretty much gone for me. Uh, but I'm still getting the leather and a little bit of sweetness and earthy notes on this. Um, it's a very good tasting cigar and it's very smooth. I don't get any sharpness through the retro hail. Um, and the, I'd say it's a um, medium bodied cigar, medium to full. Uh, strength, I'm not really feeling much. So I would say uh, it's probably a medium strength. Um, definitely not a light cigar by any means, but uh, a, a good cigar. We're gonna keep going here into that final third, and I'll be back to let you guys know how this finishes out for me. All right, guys, I'm in the final third here. Um, just wanted to kind of review everything for you real quick. Um, I did take the band off. I kind of butchered the heck out of that, so that's not getting saved and put into my book. But uh, still getting the heavy leather flavors, sweetness, not much chocolate at all, um, nutty in the uh, finish, and the finish last. I'd say for strength, I'd say this is medium to full bodied. Um, I am kind of feeling something here, so. Uh, and then as far as um, flavor profile, I'd say uh, as body, you're in the medium to full bodied range there. Uh, overall, the cigar performed excellent. Uh, razor sharp burn the entire time. Did not make any corrections, uh, no relights, nothing. The construction was phenomenal. Uh, the only points I took off for any kind of construction was the snug draw. It, it stayed fairly snug through the whole smoke. Uh, I did open up a little bit, uh, so it's not been uh, too bad, but uh, it definitely took off a couple points for that. And um, the flavor itself, while it was good and flavorful, not a ton of transitions. Uh, so it maybe lost a point there for that. My overall score for this cigar, again, this was the uh, Velvet Rat 
Um, Drew Estate makes it. So it's Liga Pravada Velvet Rat. My overall score I gave this was a 95. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Everyman Cigar, and share this with your friends. I'd love to get those numbers up a little bit if I could. If you guys have any suggestions on the type of content you would like to see that might make this channel a little more interesting, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.